In this video, we're going to discuss the difference between book and tax income. So when we say book income, what we really mean is pre-tax financial income. So that's the income that is required to be computed by GAAP, by generally accepted accounting principles in the United States. So that's going to end up on the income statement and in the financial statements that are prepared by the firm that are used by investors and creditors at the end of the fiscal year. So this is GAAP pre-tax income, right? Now, taxable income, tax income is that which is computed for purposes of your tax return for the corporation that's submitted to the IRS. So there's this form 1120 that a corporation must file and so to, to pay the corporate uh, income taxes. And so the taxable income is what is reported to the IRS, whereas the pre-tax financial income is reported to investors and creditors uh, in the financial statements. So there are going to be large differences in some cases. There are going to be differences between book and tax income. And the reason is, is that these different types of income are computed for different purposes. They have different objectives, and so they're gonna be computed in a slightly different manner. So broke book income, so this is gap income for the financial statements, is gonna be a, a, a reported on a cruel basis, right? Remember we talked about accrual accounting, accounting for events in the period in which they happen to occur rather than in the period in which they happen to be settled in cash. So that's accrual accounting. And so book income, on a cruel basis is going to be intended to track changes in the firm's wealth. Did the firm's wealth increase or decrease during the period? And, and investors and creditors are going to be the ones using this information, and they're going to be trying to predict the future. They're trying to make predictions about the timing and the certainty of the firm's cash flows. All right, so that's the objective of book income is so that investors and creditors can use the financial statements to see what is gonna happen with this firm in the future. Taxable income, on the other hand, it's, it's used by the IRS to, to raise money for the United States government, right? So it's a completely different objective. It's not investors and creditors. And so, as a matter of fact, investors and creditors aren't even going to see the firm's tax return, right? So it's based, the, this taxable income is based on this, this doctrine called ability to pay. So I just want to give you an example. So let, let's say that you're a landlord and your tenant pays you, they pay you $800 rent, but they pay you on day one before you've actually before they've even lived in the apartment or anything. So they they prepay the rent eight hundred dollars. Now, for book purposes, for book purposes, we're using accrual accounting and we say, hey, this hasn't been earned yet. We don't recognize that eight hundred dollars as revenue, and thus it wouldn't end up in pre-tax financial income because it hasn't been earned. However, however, with taxable income. The U.S. government doesn't care whether it's been earned or not, right? This isn't information for investors and creditors. What they care about is the ability to pay. And when you receive that prepaid rent as the landlord, they say, aha, you just got $800. You are in a position to pay. If they wait till next year, next quarter or whatever and say, hey, we'll wait till it's been quote unquote earned. Well, then they might not be able to get their tax from you, right? So you've got the money and now they're ready to tax you. So there's different objectives and different ways of accounting for it. Now, tax income, some things are, are reported on a cruel basis for taxes, but usually what we call it is a modified cash basis is how tax income is described. Now, these differences between a, a cruel accounting and this modified cash basis that's used for taxes. So if we're, if we're accounting for book income differently than tax income, it's like we're keeping two sets of books, and so we're gonna have these differences, and the natural question is about these differences, do they reverse at some point? And the answer is yes, in some cases. If it is a temporary difference, that just means that, okay, book and tax income are different this period, but over time, that, that, that it will reverse and, and the, the one is requiring deductions or expenses be taken earlier and then it'll make up later. And we'll, we'll talk about that with like depreciation, for example. But in some cases, it's a permanent difference. For example, life insurance income. So if the firm has uh, in life insurance proceeds that they receive from the you know, CEO passing away, that is not going to be taxed. 
However, it is going to end up in pre-tax financial income and thus in book income. And so that's never going to be reversed. And so we're going to call it a permanent difference between tax and book income. And we're going to talk about temporary and permanent differences in the videos to come.